Hi, Pre-K. We're going to do some ballet today. We're going to learn a step called frappe, which means to strike. We're also going to work on something called beats, which we have not done in ballet before, but I think it'd be fun to learn how to do them now. So, a frappe is an exercise that you may want to do using a bar or a chair or something that you can hold on to. Miss Breland's going to try to do it without holding on to anything, but if my balance gets a little wobbly, I'll grab my chair over there. So, when we frappe, we're going to do it from first position. You want to bring your heel to your ankle and you want to flex your foot. This is one of the only times that we're going to flex in ballet. When we do our frappe, we brush our foot out and we point our toe. That's the strike. So it's kind of a fast motion. Frappe to the side and to the back. Now, when we do what's called a beat in ballet, you can point your toe and your ankle, or point your toe around your ankle, going back and forth from front to back. Some people can do this very, very fast. Some people do a little slower. Because you're small, and because we're just learning, we're gonna take it nice and slow. But let's try it with some music. start again. Take this opportunity to shake out your legs because we're working a lot of muscles right now. Ready? To the front, to the side, to the back, to the side. Let's beat. just in time for the song to end. Now, because we just worked so hard with those muscles, let's do a couple stretches so that we can stretch out those calf muscles we've been working so that nobody's sore from doing these exercises. So, we're gonna do sort of a lunge. Put one foot in front and one foot in back. And all you're gonna do is bend your front leg, keep your back leg straight, and stretch out that muscle. Good job, switch your legs. Good, switch again. This time if you want, you can bring your arms up and to the side. Good, and switch them again. Good job. If these muscles still feel a little funny, you can keep doing that exercise. You can also hold on to something. I have a chair over here. And you can do the same thing by holding on to a chair. It's totally up to you. But we want to make sure that we're being healthy and safe when we're dancing and stretching, especially when we're doing a new step. All right, guys. Bye.